Hey, good afternoon guys, welcome on board, welcome to another stream, welcome to RAF Norfolk in London. We are in the Belsim 222 helicopter, the, uh, so the Belsim, we're in the Cowan Sim Bell 222 helicopter, I beg your pardon Josh. Um, we're going to be heading out, checking in with um, Heathrow Director actually, there's quite a lot of ATC covering London at the moment. It's quite a busy afternoon. Sunday's always the busiest time on the Batson network, so we're going to have to make sure that we know exactly what we're doing and where we're going. So I've got my charts and everything up. We're going to be doing a couple of rescues, probably streaming for about an hour to two hours. And uh, then I'm going to take a bit of a break, get some food. And the plan is going to be taking Concord to Innsbruck. We're going to be flying to Innsbruck, doing the circle to land approach later on today. Fingers crossed if all goes well. I hope everybody's well. Good to see uh, the members of the YouTube Captains Club have joined us on YouTube. Welcome on board, gentlemen. Good to see you. My man Adam Smith's in here, uh, Mac Vision, and my main man Fearless. What's up, Fearless, you fucking buster? Good to see you, dude. Hope you uh, had a good little sesh last night after we went off, if you came back online. Me and one ran around for a little bit. Got, got, a little, got bits and bobs done. I think, actually, we stopped doing the epics. We just went and got one's uh, uh, war steed, which took a little while. Right, let's get on board. Buttons. I will need a headset. Hey, what's up, Ramsey? Yeah, well, you learned something new today, brother, didn't you? Right, headset is on. Track IR is not fucking. Oh, it's alright, I know why it's not. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't panic, don't panic, Maverick. It's alright. There we go, there we go. No need to start freaking out and losing your composure. Just press some buttons. Everything will be fine. Right, change the... Rotate the tablet. In fact, I'll hide the tablet. Hide the co-pilot, hide the passengers. And we have swapped the radio. Right, so let's get some power up in this bitch. We need the uh, battery switch to on. Avionics, come on. We'll clear the master warning. RPM warning we know about. The rotor brake is already off for some reason. I'm not sure what the buzzing noise is. I've never heard that before. That might not be good. Fuel valves on for engine one and engine two. We'll take the primer on for one. Primer on for two. We need the anti-collision light on to let people outside know we're about to start the engines and to get out of the way. Rotor RPM. I know the rotor RPM warning is fucking going, dude. The engine hasn't even started yet. Fuck's sake. 
Uh, hydraulics 1, Hydraulics 2. We'll take the generator inverters once we get the engine up and running. And we'll go ahead and take the starter for engine number 1, check that the rotor brake is off. Open the guard, hit the starter switch. Alright, we're looking for 10%, which I have. I have to introduce a little bit of fuel on engine one. Just a little bit. I can hear her spooling up. Uh, 71. Hey, what's up, Seb? Good to see you, big dog. Charles has joined us as well. Welcome on board, Charles. Good to see you. What's up, Twitch peeps? Ananity, Mr. Squidgen, DJ Timewalker. What's up, big dog? What's up, Ramsey? Eagle Motion. Freedom Monroe's in here as well. Good to see you, young man. Alright, we can take idle stop now on one. We can take the primer off for one. Roar RPM's coming in the green now. We can take the uh, generator for one and the inverter. And we can take the starter for engine two. Close the guard. Hey, Danny boy's in here as well. Welcome. What's up, Alfie? Welcome on board. I've got a tutorial on my YouTube channel, Lucky Owl, if you want to buy it. Uh, the Concord, and then check out the tutorial video. I'll be able to talk you through step by step how you get from London to New York, a little bit of fuel on too. Alright, an idle stop on two. Itchy ear. The itchy ear lobes of death. Sorry guys, I got the guns out there. Is everybody okay? Sorry about that. Right, generator and inverter for two. Alright, she looks good. Let's beat the engines up. Hey, Diplex, welcome back. It has been a little while. Oh shit, what's happening here? Oh, I know what's wrong. Ah, fuck. I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. That's why we're getting this uh, warning as well. I haven't uh, remembered to change my um, throttle from throttle to collective. We did that the last time and got into a lot of trouble. There we go. That's why that um, warning was going off. I didn't check that the uh, collective was all the way down. That's a, a bit of a newbie error. Never mind. All right, the winds are two seven zero at two knots. I get my pen and paper out because I'm a trained professional. Right, information. India is current at Heathrow at the moment. Information India, which gives us 1025. Surface winds are 260 at 8 knots at Heathrow. 1025 I said, wasn't it? One one nine seven two five. We are on the right channel. I taught Sam, nice brother. 
Ready for the director. Good afternoon, Helimed 27 Echo. Helimed 27 Echo, here Hello, sir. Good to see you. Helimed 27 Echo at RAF Norfolk. Information India is on board. What about 222? We have uh, 1025. We're looking for entry into controlled airspace on track Royal London, eastbound on Hotel 10 to Perryville and Perryville direct to Royal London. Clear to the Royal London Hospital route in H10, H4 eastbound, standard operating altitudes uh, on your present score, the Q&H is 1025. Okay, eastbound on Hotel 10 for Hotel 4 and uh, with the current score, standard operating altitude VFR, we are lifting now, Helimed 27 Echo. Helimed 27 Echo, roger, thank you. Alright, once it's on the conspicuity squawk, so we'll get ahead and get the transponder on. In fact, I said just leave the current squawk on, so... Oh, you haven't missed the exit, have you? No, Charlie. Ah, hurry up, we've got traffic on the one mile final. I'm going. 7,000 is set. Alright, Cagri Alpha departure, release the brakes, beep the engine up to 102%. Quick check on the left, quick check on the right. The wind's coming from our right-hand side. Move my mouse mat so I can rest my elbow on it. Just set the view and power up. Nose wheel up first. Bring the left main wheel off the ground first. Stabilise into ground effect here. Bring the nose round any wind. Checked. And we'll just come straight back. Looks like the cloud cover's pretty low today in London. Don't think we're going to get too much higher above 500 feet. Stick forward, pedal left. Alright, we asked for Hotel 10 to Perryville and then Perryville direct to London. Unfortunately, he didn't give us it, so I'm not going to be awkward about it. I'm just going to follow the directions that he's given me. Gear up, please. Alright, we're through ETL. The engine and RPM can get beeped down back to 100%. Gear is up. Trim is left. Okay, so we are heading eastbound now towards Perryville. Weather is not fantastic. I've actually forgot a lot of stuff on the overhead panel, which I need to fix now. Hey, thanks, DJ Timewalker. That's very kind of you, bro. My man, DJ Timewalker, on Twitch says, I really enjoy watching the helicopter streams because no, not many other does it, and certainly not as good as you. That's very kind of you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, we're heading for Perryville and Ealing. That's... Who's the alien coming up? Alright, we're coming right for Gunnersby Park. Sam, helicopters take a lot more hand-to-eye coordination to fly, but I wouldn't say it was more difficult than Concorde. There's a lot more to think about. 
Continue straight ahead taxi and then via November Bravo 1 and line up runway 27 left. Hey Trap, welcome. Uh, yeah, I would, yeah. It's different, different, different skill sets and different challenges. There's a, a, a lot more to think about while flying helicopters and um, a lot more can go wrong. A lot more can go wrong faster. But uh, yeah, it does take a lot more hand-to-eye coordination to fly helicopters and fixed wing, but once you've got enough practice at it, you do all that subconsciously. I never have to think about what my hands are doing, my hands or feet. I never ever have to think about that. I just look out the window and make decisions. All right, we're coming over Q Bridge now. How long does it take to learn a Concorde? Quite a long time. I'm gonna be flying the Concorde to Innsbruck later on today, guys. That's the plan anyway. No promises, some plans might change. But the plan is to fly from uh, Heathrow to Innsbruck later on this evening in Concord. Don't fly slow aircraft, Coxie. Fixed wing. I only fly Concorde, brother. I don't fly subsonic commercial. Speedbird 460. Speedbird 460, line of approach with you um, at flight level 80, um, inbound the Hazel 1 Hotel. Um, sit, uh, start into the front. Speedbird 460, hello. Flying radar heading 070 degrees. Still doesn't have as much swag as Concorde, Coxie. 070 degrees for Speedbird 460. Yeah, Time Walker. I mean, you guys should check out the. Element 27 Echo Royal London Hospital inside. Element 27 Echo Wilco, we're just entering Hotel 4 eastbound. Thank you. Streaming. A firm. Oh, I'm gonna get out, man. Thanks, man. Alright, that is. Um, is it Tottenham? I don't know my football team's guys, sorry. Hey Gonzalo, welcome back. Fulham, thanks Joffrey. I knew it was something happening. Oh, there's someone at the heliport. There's another helicopter at the heliport, guys. London Heliport has a helicopter down there. What was send um instruction for speedbird four six zero? it was yeah, shadow crashes speed four six zero descend flight level. Slow down a little bit so we can have a look at them as we fly past. Got a lot of turbulence up here today. Hey Swaddle! Eh uh, no, Oost, this is Orbix. Orbix South. So there should be another aircraft down there. Oh, there he is there, I see him, yep, there's another helicopter down there. Fucking buster. Watch out for that crane! 104, flight level 80. 717, he's right direct now, hello, leave, big and heading 265 degrees, minimum clean speed. Hey, James, welcome, buddy, good to see you. James Yen's joined us on uh, Twitch, he's the air traffic controller that you can hear talking in my uh, ear. He's the guy doing heat for director. Alright, just coming into the city centre of London now. We'll be flying past Parliament very shortly. We've got the MI6 headquarters coming up on the right hand side. Normally we'd be making voice calls here, but the controllers asked me just to report Royal London in sight, so I'm not going to bother doing that. This Battersea Power Station on the right. Wind is 250 at 6 knots here. So we'll be flying past the hospital and coming around from the east. 
to land and he went. Cleared for 60 descent to altitude 4,000 feet, QNH 1025, range 3, Gresham range 26 miles, runway 27 left. Houses of Parliament coming up on the left hand side. Sun and maintain 4,000 feet, um, range 2.6 miles, runway 27 left, QNH 1025. And uh, London Eye, make sure we don't fly into it. Director Helimed 27 Echo, we have the Royal London in sight. Helimed 27 Echo, rank you the wind at uh, London City is 240 degrees 6 knots and just report now. 27 Echo. Helimed 717, it's 7 level 70. 7 level 70, it's 7 level 70. There's a hospital there. 460 over G speed to 180 knots. 180 knots for speed by 460. And um, we'll start slowing down now. Hey, Mick, welcome back. Hey, Jungly, welcome back, dude. Yes, I do run Active Sky, buddy. Hey, Vic, welcome back. Alright, trim's coming up. Gear down, please. Collector's coming off. Good visual in the hospital. We are below 90 knots now, so we can uh, beep the engine, the rotor RPM up to 102% now. Gear is down 3 grains. Trim's been reset. 250 we have the wind now, 250 at 6 knots, I'll keep this left pedal in. Keep the nose coming round the left while I bleed off the speed. Don't climb. Okay, rotor RPM's good, power's good, air speed's good, vertical. Vertical rate is good. We have the nose into wind now, we're going to put the left of the aircraft down a bit and crab in forward, so I can get good visibility coming forward here, good visibility forward. Rotor RPM, we're a little fast, we're very fast actually. So I'm bleeding this down. Careful with the VRS envelope, we're getting very close. Keep the forward trend coming, don't stop. Ro power's good, road RPM's good. Gear is down. Square up. Stabilize. It's a little windy. And three, two, one. Riding zero eight zero degrees. Touching now. Riding zero eight zero degrees. So that's three seven one. Oh. I need to remember not to hold on to the fucking cyclic so. left turn now okay, crash is being four six zero turn left now heading two four zero degrees to join the localizer for two seven left. Two four zero degrees for the localizer speed by four six zero. Two eight seven one seven runway two seven left range about twenty six miles descent to altitude four thousand feet to QNH one zero two five. Four thousand feet QNH one zero two five for the speed seven one seven. Two eight two seven four descent flight level seven zero. Director Helmet 27 Echo, we're down at Royal London. Helmet 27 Echo, thank you. Right, let's find out where we're going. Okay, so we'll unselect course and we'll see what we've got. So we want the minimum distance to be 20, maximum distance to be 30. Create Mish. A barbecue accident, let's see what it is first before we accept it. 085 degrees, so that's someone's on. Oh, it's a way out to the um, way out to the east. It's out to South End, actually. So how does that impact us for London South? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll take this one, guys. We're, we're going out towards South End. Actually, very close to South End Airfield. I'll show you on the map where we're going in a second. 
So we're responding to an urban incident. Several people have been seriously injured after a gas-powered barbecue exploded during a garden party. Should it be having a garden party in the middle of a fucking lockdown, bro? Emergency services on scene have requested an air ambulance to get a young girl with critical injuries to the burns unit as quickly as possible. The rest of the casualties are making their way to the hospital by road ambulance. Let's get moving as fast as you can. If we're quick enough, we can give this, we can save this young girl's life. Right, start mission. So we're right in the middle of the city of London just now. We're heading out to South End, which is out to the east. And here's South End on sea out here. And the barbecue incident is just to the uh, west of the airfield. So somewhere here in this housing estate here, yeah, just northeast of Hadley. Alright, let's get the engine RPM back up. Garden party in that weather! You got it, Hungstar. That's where James lives. <laughs> we'll ring the horn as we go past James. Uh, this is the UT swaddle, yep. It's um, by Cowan Sim. Alright, RPM's coming up. Director Helimate 27 Alpha. Hello, sir. We're responding to an alpha call at South End. We require entry and a controlled airspace uh, eastbound on Hotel 4 to depart via the Thames Barrier. Yeah, uh, okay. Hello, mate. 27 Alpha, roger. Um, da -da -da. Okay, uh, off departure, you are clear to leave London City Control Zone to the east, not above uh, altitude 1,500 feet VFR. QNH is 1025. Clear to leave controlled airspace to the uh, east, not above 1,500 VFR. 1025 for Hello, mate. 27 Alpha. We are lifting now. Departing out of city, he's currently climbing to 2,100 feet northbound. 27 Alpha. Right, RPM to 102%. Zero knots, Check. Good on the left, good on the right. Let's get the nose wheel up. Pop a little wheelie. And now we want the left wheel off the ground first. There we go, stabilise there. Put the nose into wind. And come back. The power's good. Stick forward, pedal left. And gear up. Okay, we're through ETL. Roar RPM back to 100%. Gear is up. We're flying away. Trim is life. Hey, Black Spark, welcome along, buddy. I'm living a dream. I'll do my best, Hunkstar. Thanks, man. Alright, we are off. A little audible warning in my headset there, just to tell me that I'm I'm not in the I'm not in the red limit for the uh, collective, but I'm getting close to the limit. That little beeping noise that you, maybe you guys can hear on the stream. It goes beep 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 beep. Just a little audible warning to say, hey, bro, too much collective on champ. Let's get some of that collective off. I'm just coming round past the the Isle of Dogs here. There's some uh, helicopter scenery down there that you can get from charityscenery.co.uk, guys. Check it out. The link is in the uh, stream description, charityscenery.co.uk. Okay, uh, 
717, can you make a switch to them right there, back in front of you, looks like they've paused for a minute and you're now creeping up on them. I'm currently IMC, so I can't really see anything, that's a good sign, sir. Oh, I'm trying to fly an external view, so I'll go well. Alright, back in the hallway. Tremors life. Uh, someone was asking earlier on, sorry I forgot to answer. Someone asked, what do I think is harder to fly, a Harrier or a helicopter? That's a good question, dude. That's a good question. I would say they're probably both the same kind of complexity. They, they actually... They share some of the skill sets, but they're, they're definitely as different... Different skills that are used, but... Um, I'd say they're pro probably about the same. Probably about the same level of complexity and difficulty. If you can fly a, a, a helicopter, you can fly a Harrier. One of the things, obviously in a Harrier, everything happens a lot faster. But, um, yeah. Very, very similar skill sets. Okay, leaving controlled airspace here. Well, not controlled airspace, we're leaving the London CTA. Over the Thames Barrier, there's London City on the left hand side. There's an easy jet just took off from there, but he's well out of our way now. I'm going to dial up the autopilot now and start heading straight towards the incident once I get some trim sorted out here. Trimming them up! Alright, autopilot engage. In fact, Let's do it by the book. Let's get 100 feet on the altitude here on the radar so I can get up above 500 feet. Don't want to noise up the poor people of London. I'm sure they're already suffering enough with the COVID, COVID epidemic. All right, altitude. 7073. 7073 coming up. Sail Med 27 Alpha. Sail Med 27 Alpha, thank you. And uh, report your call sign only to Thames on 132 7 Bye bye. Call sign to Thames. Thanks for your help. 27 Alpha. Bye bye. Alright, Thames is 132.7. Dot one 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 three two point seven. Helimed two seven alpha. Helimed two seven alpha, Thames, hello, get your details, report leaving the zone. Helimed two seven alpha. Basic service. In fact, Tim, tell me two seven up. We'll take a traffic service, please, outside of control airspace. guys the chart that we're working from when we're operating in London here. London routes. So this is our main London um, chart that we use for navigating around about the city centre. This is a helicopter rescue game, yeah. Alright, looks like we might be heading into IMC, that's not ideal. So what we might have to do, because the terrain is going to be coming up towards us... Seven Alpha traffic service, and that's all received. Thank you. So, because I don't, I don't want to go that way because of the the weather looks 
the visibility looks rather limited. So what we're going to do, we're going to head out over the, out the Thames estuary and then swing a, a left. So right now we're actually heading for the uh, the Gateway Gateway Port VRP. And then from there we'll head left towards uh, northeast slightly towards South End. Hashtag flyby. What emergency do we have? asks Mason. We are responding to a uh, a gas power barbecue that has exploded during a garden party. So there are several people have been seriously injured after a gas power barbecue exploded during a garden party. Emergency services on scene have requested an air ambulance to get a young girl with critical injuries to the burns unit as quickly as possible. The rest of the casualties are making their way to hospital by, a, by road ambulance. So we are heading to pick up a young girl who's uh, not doing so well and we'll be bringing her back to the Royal London Hospital as fast as we can. It's called X-Plane 11, Mason. I know, Swaddle. Terrible. Fucking terrible. Who the hell's having a garden party in the fucking middle of winter? Bob Saget. The weather is what we like to call in Scotland, shite. Uh, we will do so, yeah. Because of the uh, visibility, we're actually heading for the Gateway Port VRP at this time, and from there we'll be heading northeast to South End to land just to the west of South End to Seven Alpha. Attend the south end controlled airspace via the gateway port VRP, not above 1500 VFR uh, 1025 427 Alpha. Uh, Rory asks, When am I going to be flying the Augusta 139 again? I don't know, dude, it's too buggy. I love the aircraft. Uh, it's, a, it's such a shame. I was talking to uh, Heli Pilot uh, yesterday about that because he was flying it on stream. It's a fan It's such a great aircraft, but the model's so buggy. Uh, the autopilot doesn't work properly, and and this the Cowan Sim Bell two 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 just shits all over it, dude. To be honest with you, the this aircraft is is, is so much better than the Augusta one three ninety fly. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think this aircraft is is way better. It blows the the Augusta one three nine went right out of the water. You get the fantastic sound mod, uh, the sound engine with this one as well. Apparently the same team are doing the uh, Augusta 109, so I might just wait for that, Rory. I don't know, dude, I don't know. I might uninstall it and try and reinstall it again and then see, see if that fixes the problems with the autopilot. But um, yeah, it's such a shame because it is a great aircraft, it's just so buggy. Right, so we are going to Eastwood. Specifically, we're going to be landing in Burefield Road in Eastwood, which is where this incident is. Close that. Close that. Maps, I'll show you guys. So here's South End. Eastwood is here. Here's Eastwood. And we are going to be landing somewhere about here. Burfield Road or something it said. We'll find it when we get there. There it is there. Burfield Road. This is where the incident is here. We're going to be landing here somewhere. Hopefully as close as we can to the incident. Get this young lady on board. Get her to hospital. 
Okay, we are on top of the Gateway Port VRP now. So we'll start coming left. Seven Alpha radar control service. Not far to go now. We have 24 minutes to find the location of the incident, which is more than enough time. The ATC is a real person. Hey, what's up, Nymeri? Says Fox Free. I fucking hope not, bro. I'm in the friendly skies. Hey, Nymeri. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. Get out of here with that shit, you bastard. Good to see you, dude. Hey Lance, welcome along. Hey MG, welcome back. Good to see you, dude. Oh. My man's name legitimately is Chad. Nice. Right, terrain's coming up towards us a little bit. We're still at 500 feet R at the moment, 500 R. Should start creeping down. I'm just going to stay where I am, though. Right, looks like that's the runway for South End, is indeed. We start coming left a little bit now. We're such, we are almost on scene. We're not there yet, but we're getting close, so we start slowing the aircraft down a little bit. We're going to be taking the patient to the Royal London Hospital, Andrew. Let's get the aircraft slowed right down. Right, so it should be on our right hand side somewhere. We're looking out for flashing lights. AFARM 27 Alpha. Roger, that's our, we won't actually be landing at South End, my friend. We're responding to an alpha call approximately one and a half miles to the west of the airfield. We're actually arriving on scene now, so we'll be landing at our current position. Hello, Mr. Snapper. Roger, report setting down the surface with the South End 260 degrees 7 miles. 27 Alpha. Alright, we are arriving on scene. There's the ambulances and the fire engines down there. Take the gear down now. Trim reset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do one quick orbit just to look for power lines and stuff. It looks like we're going to be landing right in the middle of a housing estate as well, so this has to potentially be a bit congested, so we're looking out for high tension power lines, cables, poles, fucking trees, pigeons, all sorts of stuff. Rotor RPM to 102%, check the gear is down, the gear is down, free greens. See the ambulances and the fire engines. Looks like we'll be able to land. It looks like a bit of can maybe land behind that house there. Looks like enough room to squeeze a helicopter in. No high tension power cables going across the uh, LZ, which looks good. Quite a lot of uh, lighting poles there, though. So have to be careful with that on the way in. All right, let's start really slowing down. Trim reset. The wind is coming from two six zero at seven knots, which. It's going to make my approach just a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. I'm a trained professional. Alright, let's start settling down. Right, in fact, let's have a little think about this. Let's get the nose into the wind. It looks like we're going to be crabbing all the way in, guys. 
So I'm going to get the aircraft into a hover here, check that the rotor RPM is set, rotor RPM is good, power's good. The gear is down, stabilise. Careful with the VRS envelope. The nose is into wind now, I'm going to keep crabbing in this way. And we're going to land, should I go in between the pole? Maybe not a great idea. No, we're going to go in between the house and the pole instead. Right, forward trend is good, rotor RPM's good, power's good. Gear is down. Happy with the airspeed, happy with the rate of descent. We can see the poles on the right hand side, there's enough room to get the aircraft over here. There's a house right below us, so we want to keep the forward trend coming, get over this house. There's no poles there on the left, so keep coming forward. Alright, so let's start bringing her down into this spot now. Remember that pole is just behind us on the right hand side, do not drift back and right. And the house is behind us on the left, do not drift back and left. We're good for position now, nose is into wind. Careful with VRS. Alright, I can start looking in front of me now. Okay, stabilise any ground effect. Stable. And bring her down. Looks like we're going to be landing on a bit of a hill here. So I'm going to be very careful as I get the main gear down. I'm not going to slam the aircraft down. We're just going to... Looks like we're going to get the right gear down first, which is not standard. All right, we're still in the... We still have the, the right gears on the ground, but the, the rest of the aircraft is in the air. Let's see if I can settle her down here. Settle. Settle. Come on, girl. Get down. Get down. All right, we are on the ground. Just give the cyclic a bit of a wobble and make sure we're not going to roll around anywhere. We're okay. And gently lower the collective center of the cyclic and the pedals, we are down. Maybe a little bit too close to that house. Could have maybe landed here. The important part is we made it in one piece. Okay, we've got a door open to get this passenger in. Because Arma isn't realistic, Joe. <laughs> That's why. This is all. This, when I fly in X plane, this is all about realism and trying to fly as realistically as possible. Thames Element 27 Alpha, we've landed on scene, sir. Should be on the ground for two or three minutes, and we'll give you a call to lift. So here we go, have a, look, a little look around our incident. Oh, the fire engine is inside the house, that's not so good. So we've got the ambulance here. Oh, it looks like the girl is not. So the way that I have made the mod, that the when you arrive on scene, you'll see that the patient is on the stretcher. But once the patient gets put in the helicopter, the patient despawns from the stretcher. So, okay, our patient is on board and stable. You can lift when ready. Try to make this as fast as you can. It's okay if it's a little bumpy. She is heavily sedated. Roger that. All right, let's get the, the door closed first of all. If I can remember how to get across here and then look. Come on, there we go. Uh, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go right now? I want to go left. Christ on me. How am I going to shut this fucking door? Nope. I remember I had this problem the last time. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get a door shut. I'm stay there. Ah, fuck's sake. Where's the, where's the bit for the door? You know what, can we go through? Hold on. I don't know what we'll do. We'll turn track IR. I think I'll just keep the door shut in future. Back into the seat. Turn track IR back on. Boop. All right, let's get the engines back up. Idle stop. Coffee check. Low. Hey, happy new year to you, Levin. Hope you had a good one. Yeah, no, uh, like Chris says, no one's shooting at us here, dude. 
We are on uh, we are on Vatsim Gorilla, yep. Yeah. That's why it says Vatsim in the Twitch title, brother. <laughs> Alright, Roar RPM is building. Okay, departure wise, it's going to be a Category Alpha departure. We're going to be coming back into our left, so we're going to be going through this gap here. We're going to be coming up, watching for that pole, watching for that house, and coming back and left. Um, element 27 Alpha, we're ready to lift. Just outside of South End, sir, we uh, require access to controlled airspace to the Royal London Hospital. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track for the Gateway Port VRP, routing for the Thames Barrier. Element 27, Roger, lift your discretion. The east is wind to South End, 260 degrees and 7 knots. You're cleared to leave the East End control zone on track for the Gateway Port VRP, not of altitude 1,500 feet VFR. Clear to leave the zone via the Gateway Port VRP, not above 1,500 feet VFR. We are lifting now, Hail 27 Alpha. Alright, RPM to 102%. <coughs> Checked, we are good on the left, we're good on the right. Let's get the uh, nose wheel off the ground. And get the left wheel off the ground first and stabilise any ground effect. Remember, the pole is behind us on the right and the house is behind us on the left. So we're going to come up a little bit first and come back and left. All right, now we can come back. Should be clear of the house now. And left. feet, stick forward, pedal left, gear up. Okay, we are through ETL now, road RPM back to 100%, the gear is up, and we'll start heading for the gateway port VRP. Looks like the weather's getting worse. Patient comfort score 40 out of 40, guys. I said it once and I'll say it again. I got better transitions than Caitlyn Jenner. My power is coming up. It's a little windy. Hey, hello, Zero Maverick. What are you using the What are you using the HMR plugin to create these? Yeah, it's a HRM plugin, dude, but it's a modified version of it. So I am a member of the CharityScenery.co.uk team, and what we did is we created a, a UK air ambulance mod um, based on the the HRM client. So uh, if you type in what is the one on Twitch? Heliport, actually. Boom. If you check out this website, oh for fuck's sake, check out that website dude, you can uh, you can get the UK Air Ambulance mod, um, it, it is payware though, it'll cost you a pound or one dollar or one euro, whatever it is you're from, all the money goes to charity though, no one makes any profit from this, I spent, uh, traffic service 27 Alpha. Um, yeah, so 
I spent a lot of time making this UK Air Ambulance mod to help try and raise money for the Air Ambulance charities in the United Kingdom. So, although it is payware, I don't make I don't make any money from it at all, guys. No one makes any money from this. All the money uh, raised goes to charity. So get yourself over to the website charityscenery.co.uk. You can buy the UK Air Ambulance mod there. You can also buy some helicopter um, scenery for London and all around the UK. Actually, we've got helicopter scenery all up and down the UK, and we're we're adding to it all the time as well. So check it out, guys. Charityscenery.co.uk. We're doing good things. Maze uh, on YouTube says, what is your favourite helicopter? Mine is the Gazelle. Um, probably the EH-101 Merlin is my favourite. Probably. Like in real life. A gorgeous aircraft. Thames 2, 7 Alpha, we're on top of the uh, gates. Port VRP, we're now routing for the Thames Barrier. Thames 2, 7 Alpha, Russia, leaving controlled airspace, traffic service. Traffic service, 2, 7 Alpha. Any thoughts on the rotor sim? Yeah, I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. I tried it. Hello Zero's asking me, what do I think of the Rotor Sim EC135 version 5? I think it looks fantastic, it sounds great, the cockpit looks amazing, the, the liveries are all well done, but the flight model is just fucking terrible, dude. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm judging it too harshly. I know that the, the, um, the real aircraft has a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like fly-by-wire, but it's a different word I'm looking for. I know it has a lot of um, systems governing the flight control, so maybe it's not going to feel as uh, hands-on as some of the other, the other aircraft, but I, I really didn't like the flight model, dude. I wasn't impressed at all. This helicopter's really well done, Swaddle. All the systems work. Why is that not zooming? I'm pressing DCS buttons, that's why. Yeah, it's really good. It's got the um, integration with Abbey Tab and stuff like that as well. We can get the tablet up. Hide the tablet. Rotate the tablet. So we can get the Abbey Tab tablet in there as well. And It's a great aircraft, dude. Check it out, man. It's, it's well worth it. Cowan Sim. The Cowan Sim Bell 222, guys. CowanSim.com. Great little aircraft to fly. Uh, Swaddle says, yeah, it's cheap too. I'm going to get it. Nice, brother. Yes. You, trust me, dude. Money well spent. You won't regret it. It's a fantastic little aircraft to fly. All right, guys. I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. If you hear ATC say my call sign, guys, can you wave your, wave your hands in front of your screen really quickly? And I'll be, or shout really loudly so I can hear you. I'll be right back. Fucking back! Ugh. Ok, 
Okay, there's a Dartford crossing on our left hand side. What is our R500? That's fine. Patient comfort score is still 40 out of 40. You are goddamn right. Clear to enter London City, not above 2,000 feet VFR via the Thames Barrier and direct to Royal London from the Thames Barrier. Many thanks, Henry 127 Alpha. Two seven Alpha, welcome. It's a fresh air. Yeah, get off this frequency, you fucking buster. No bueno. I don't speak Spanish, but even I know that's no bueno. Hey Patrick. Hey Speedbird, good to see you dude. Welcome. Yeah, hello. That's the same thing I thought. I thought it felt very arcadey to me as well. I thought it, it was a little... It really struck me, dude, it was, it was just like flying helicopters in armour. That's what it felt like. As soon as I was like, dude, this is just like fucking flying in armour, bro. This sucks. 27 Alpha Radar Control Service. Hey, Meredith, good to see you, young lady. Welcome along. So it should be this side, shouldn't it? Welcome. Good to see you. Yes, Ricardo, that's why it says Vatsim in the stream title, brother. And it also says helicopter in the stream title as well, big dog. Welcome. I never doubted you for a second, Ricardo. I knew you would work it out, sir. My man Ricardo's like, wait, you're in a helicopter? On Vatsim? You're goddamn right. Hey, White Wolf, welcome along. What's up, Blaze? Fucking buster. Right, so just approaching the city of London now. That's London City in front of us. The Thames Barrier is just on our left-hand side, which is where we're going to be rooting for. Should start to see all the uh, high-rise buildings come into view now. He has uh, been nice and cleared us direct. We don't have to follow Hotel 4 westbound. We can actually go direct from the heliport to... Sorry. The Thames Barrier to uh, the Royal London. So there's a Thames Barrier the westbound on Hotel 4. Isle of Dogs, we don't have to do that. We can just skip all that. And just go straight over. We are running live weather, yeah. It's the real world time and the real world weather. Aquarius on YouTube says, love the streams, they got me into flying helicopters. Thanks, man. I hope you have as much fun as I do. Hey, Zakumi joined us on Twitch, welcome along. Okay, here's the Thames Barrier. And we're going to be rooting right over these. Well, not over. We're going to go slightly to the left. Squawk 
It is not possible to do this. Well, I suppose my man Hong Kong on Twitch says, is it possible to do this at night? Not really, dude. They, um, in real life, they don't fly rescue helicopters in London at night time. It's hard enough to land in London during the day. So it's not something to do at night time. But if you wanted to do it on VATSIM, there's, there's no rule against it, sir. There's no rule if you want to fly um, HEMS uh, at night time. But it's not something to do in real life, dude. It's too dangerous. The military fly rescue helicopters at uh, night time, but uh, generally civilian uh, HEM services don't. Specific, well, especially in cities, it's very dangerous. Alright, take the little pile off. Alright, we'll start slowing down. Thames Element 27 Alpha, we have the Royal London in sight. Two seven alpha. All right. Let's start slowing down now. This hospital right in front of us. The wind from uh, city is two three zero at five knots. So the wind shifted a little bit. The weather has changed slightly. So we're going to be approaching further uh, to the northeast. We are down below one hundred knots. Gear down, and we'll take the rotor RPM to one hundred and two percent. Checked. Gears in transit, three greens now. Power's good. Rotor RPM set to 102. Good visual on the landing pad. The wind's coming from 230, so I'm just setting myself up on the angle so that I can get the uh, nose of the wind as we approach. And then we'll square up on the pad when we get there. Okay, start slowing right down now and get the pedal in left, get the nose moving left so the nose is in the wind. This is always a good way to approach getting the uh, landing zone right in the right hand side of the front window, get some good visibility. Okay, power's good, rotor RPM's good, the uh, gear is down, happy with the uh, airspeed, happy with the rate of descent. Okay, the wind's at 5 knots, so it's not going to be too bad once we speed up on the pad. Keep the forward train coming. A little fast. Approaching the VRS envelope very soon. Keep the train coming. Gear is down, three greens checked. Well, power. Okay, we'll start squaring up. Stabilize any ground effect. Stabilize. And get a left gear down as first as we can. Touching now. Gently lower the collective, centre the cyclic and the pedals. Welcome. Two seven alpha setting down at Royal London. Set set down a show set. Take this tablet off because I don't need it. Hey, Chris Ultra on um, YouTube says, I've never played X-Plane 11 since I'm a big DCS fan. What's X-Plane 11 like compared to DCS? It's, it, it, it works. <laughs> it works, bro. So it's much better. Um, no, in all seriousness, uh, DCS is a fantastic game for military aircraft, but really if you, if you want to maybe just fly aircraft, helicopters or whatever, then um, yeah, X-Plane's really good, dude. X-Plane's a fantastic game. It's well worth the money. There's lots of add-ons, lots of aircraft available for it. The um, weather dynamics are, are way better than DCS as well. The, um, the like for example, when, when I'm flying a helicopter in the mountains, so the, the wind's coming from the west, 
if I'm if I'm sort of flying westbound, but I'm on the east side of the mountain, I'm going to feel all that turbulence on the east side of the mountain. If I'm nice and if I'm low level, X plane actually simulates the the rotor effect that the of the winds rolling over terrain. You get turbulence flying around buildings and stuff like that as well. So the flying the aircraft, the, the aircraft feels a lot more alive in X plane than it does in DCS. But um, Obviously, there's no military. Well, you get military aircraft in X plane, but you, you don't have the full military fidelity set up like you do in DCS. But if you enjoy flying helicopters in DCS, dude, you'll definitely enjoy flying helicopters in X plane a little bit. Right, what I was thinking for this next one, we usually always go back and forward to London. So, what I was thinking for this next one, we could maybe go down to Southampton or something, guys. Let's have a look at the map. So, it's a bit of a trek, but there is hospitals down here. Like, so here's a hospital in Brighton. I've never been to these hospitals. Forgot something. I'll just hold position for... In fact, where's Oxford? Oxford's pretty close, isn't it? Hold on, let me get all this off. Airports, here's Oxford. We could take... We could go up to Oxford, although we might not make it, guys. Um, the reason why I'm saying we might not make it is because of the weather. If you have a look at the... The, the cloud cover is very low. So the further inland we go, the higher the uh, ground elevation is going to get, to a certain extent. So we might not, we might not even make it all the way through, dude. So what we might do instead is we will do our next, our next landing will go to the Queen's Hospital in London rather than the uh, Royal London Hospital. That's that's what our plan will be. So we're going to do this next incident, and instead of coming back to the Royal London. We will uh, go back to the Queen's Hospital. Thanks, Aquarius. Have I tried the Bell 407 Astro? Not yet, really brother, no. The helicopter physics are very good, thank you. Holy shit, you are good. Thanks, brother. Uh, what are your top three helicopters across the games that you play? Asks Hello Zero. Oh Christ! Uh, I would probably say just really on X plane, dude. I'm looking forward to the Kiowa coming out on DCS, but the uh, Bell two 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 for um, X plane, the one we're in just now, the Kevin Sim, the um, the Gazelle for X plane is fucking incredible. The SA three four two Gazelle is is amazing for X plane, and. Probably the Huey for DCS. So, Huey for DCS, SA-342 for Gazelle for X-Plane, and uh, Bell-222 for X-Plane as well. Right, let's let's get a little incident. So, what was the code actually for? Sorry, I need to get this code up. The code for the Queen's Hospital is X-Ray-135. So, I'll put that in here. X-ray 135 should confirm that it's a Queen's Hospital, and it does. And let's see where the incident is. It's a HDV collision with a car. Let's check on the map where it is first before we accept it. Okay, it is actually reasonably close to Heathrow. We do need to go past Heathrow to get there. It is in a place called Hanworth. Alright, we're not going to do that one. It's a little bit too far to go. We're going to do 25. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see where this one is. Hey, Isaac. Okay, this one is up to the north. This is actually a good one. This is actually very close to the M1 Junction 8 VRP. It's up at Hemel Hempstead. This one might be difficult to get to, though, because of the weather. Fuck it, we'll try. We will try. Right, so I'll show you on the map where we're going. We're going up towards Hemel Hempstead. Which is up here. So, you see... We are in London, and Hemel Hempstead's up here. The incident's around about here somewhere. Well, it's the M1 Junction. There's the M1 Junction 8. The incident is actually... Where's that road? It should be about here somewhere. I'm a bit worried that we're not going to get there because of the weather, though. 
I see some terrain up around about here, and it looks like that's where the incident is on my map. It's near Gade Bridge. Pitcott's End. Where's Gade Bridge? There it's there. Pitcott's End. Gade Bridge. So it's around about here. Can I see the elevation on this map? 120, 130, 140. So yeah, we should be able to get in here. Fingers crossed. We'll give it a go. So for us to get there is a bit of a mish. We're going to have to take... Um, we'll uh, leave controlled airspace via Northwood. Is probably a good track to go. Check the map. Where it is... Yeah, well, so... Uh, we are going to be routing westbound initially on Hotel 4, which is this helicopter lane here. We'll fly along Hotel 4 all the way to Hotel 10. And we'll fly Hotel 10 up to Perryville, up to RAF Norfolk. At RAF Norfolk, we'll join Hotel 9 north to Northwood. At Northwood, we'll leave controlled airspace and route northwest for Hemel Hempstead. And hopefully we'll be able to actually get in and make it to the incident. But the weather might stop us from getting in there, guys. We can't fly an INC. Right, so we're responding to a road traffic collision. A motorbike has collided with a car head-on while trying to overtake another vehicle. The car driver has been taken to hospital by road ambulance. However, the biker is critically injured and needs airlifted to hospital right away. Emergency teams are on scene and are awaiting our arrival. We are ready to leave as soon as you are ready. Roger that. All right, so let's get the mission accepted. We'll get the rotor RPM back up where it should be. report passing level. Either stop. In fact, I'm not going to bother with um, Hotel 4 if I can. I'm going to ask for direct to Perryville. Okay, Road RPM's building. Director Helimid 27 Alpha. Helimid 27 Alpha 10, pass your message. Hello again, sir. We are responding to an Alpha call at Hemel Hempstead. We'd like to enter controlled airspace direct to Perryville from the Royal London Hospital to join Hotel 10 westbound at Perryville to Hotel 9 and leaving controlled airspace at Northwood. Helimid 27 Alpha, Roger, you cleared to uh, transit controlled airspace on track. Perryvale to join Hotel 10 westbound, Hotel 9 northbound, standard operating altitudes on the heli routes, not above altitude 1,500 feet off route. Uh, Squawk remains 7073. Clear tent to control their space on track he Perryvale and westbound on Hotel 10 for Hotel 9. Uh, standard operating altitudes VFR not above 1,500 feet. 7073 to Squawk 427 Alpha, we are lifting now. Roger, the Sasswind City, 2305. Okay, Rotor RPM's checked at um, 102%. We are good on the left, we're good on the right. Someone, sorry, someone was asking, I forgot to answer the question. Someone asks, why did we put the left wheel on the ground first? Sorry, I was, I, I done that the wrong way around. It's the right wheel I want on the, wait a minute, let me think about this. Um, just because of the way that the torque in the engine works, if you if you watch helicopters land and take off in real life, if you watch them very closely, you'll notice that um, usually always one one gear or one side of the aircraft gets in the air before the other side. And on this aircraft, it's the left side. So there we go, up, stabilize. Um, and basically, it's it just it's a safer way of getting the aircraft in the air because of the way that the um, the torque affects the aircraft because the rotor spinning in one direction. So that's why if you if you look very closely at helicopters taking off in real life, like I said, or landing in real life, you'll see that one skid comes off the ground first or one wheel comes off the ground first before the other one. Right, stick forward, pedal right for Perryville. Gear up. Through ETL now, rotor RPM to 100%. Hey, good afternoon, Emil. Where's that crane? Right, sir. Oh, 
Okay, we are flying away. We're heading direct for Perryville. We are a twin-engine helicopter, so we have the authorization to do this over London. Single-engine helicopters are not allowed to do this. Single-engine helicopters have to stay above the uh, Heli Lane Hotel 4 when they're flying around about London City. In case they have an engine failure, they're going into the drink. But because we're a twin-engine helicopter, we get um, authorization to go direct. Power is coming up. Trim is life. Go ahead, get an autopilot in here now. The radar is above 500. Checked. Autopilot selected. And we'll take an, a, a heading hold as well. Oh, it's so nice to have autopilot. So that's so nice. Watch out for that building, bro. Uh, this is the BT building, I think. Yes. Alright, we're going to have to make this snappy because we don't have a lot of light left. It's going to get dark pretty soon. How long do we have to get to this incident? 29 minutes. Should be fine. And I need to remember that we're going to the Queen's Hospital, not the Royal London Hospital when we're heading back. Not really, Joris. Not really. I did not mean to press that button. Oh, yep, I got it, don't worry. I was lucky I didn't mass bump there. Alright, let's trim this back out. It's difficult, yeah, Mio. It takes a bit of practice, dude. If you've never flown helicopters before, you're, you're going to struggle. But like everything that's worth doing, it always takes a little bit of effort. Nothing worth doing comes easy. Okay, here's Ealing. Perryvale is just here. We fly along this road here. Is it that road? No, it's this road. No, it is this road. So this is the road that we want to join. Here's Perryvale. Where is it? There's Perryvale right there. So we're joining this road here. We basically follow this road along towards RAF Norfolk. And then at RAF Norfolk we join a different helicopter route called Hotel 9. And from Hotel 9 we head uh, northbound to a place called Northwood. And from Northwood we'll be leaving controlled airspace. Hey Shemansky, welcome back. Hey Syncrate, good to see you sir. I enjoy watching your streams. If you're the same guy. Syncrate, Syncrate. Hey bud. Are you the same guy that does the streaming? Yeah, it's you! Hey, buddy! Good to see you, sir. Swaddle says, love my morning. Syncrate, super chill. He is, dude. He is one of the most chilled out streamers you'll ever see, guys. 
if you're looking for some nice chilled out energy, check out uh, Syncrate Stream. There's actually another aircraft on the ground at Norfolk right now. Hey, thank you, sir. Amazing stream you have here. Thank you very much, dude. I I'm not as polite as you, sir. So just a, a quick word of warning, all right? I can I can go from zero to toxic very quickly. So um, I'm, I'm no I have nowhere near the level of chill that you do. So just keep that in mind, my friend. All right? I'm a, I'm I'm a bit of a toxic mess. So just keep that in mind, sir. I'm the most aggressive streamer on Twitch. <laughs> Alright, here's RAF Norfolk in front of us. There is another aircraft down there somewhere. What are my thoughts on the Bell 412? I haven't actually tried it, Sync Rate. I haven't, I haven't flown it yet. A lot of people keep telling me good things about it. Generally speaking, sir, I don't fly freeware aircraft. I don't really rate them. I feel, I, I always feel that the the cockpits always look fantastic. The traffic service two seven alpha. Um, but I always feel the flight models are always really subpar, sir. The the aircraft always look really good. They sound pretty good as well. They're, all the the visuals are done really well, but. The flight models all seem to be pretty bad. Alright, we're joining Hotel 9 now for Northwood. Now, the, I'm pretty worried about the clouds, guys. Pretty worried. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it to this incident. We still have a decent little way to go. Oh, shit! <laughs> Hold on guys, sorry. Close your eyes guys, you didn't see this. Close your eyes. Nothing to see here folks. I forgot to put fuel in it. Right, there may be some major low-level flying coming up here, guys. I'm going to try my best to um, to get there, but we, we might... It doesn't look like we're going to get there, dude. The weather looks really bad up ahead. And the terrain's getting higher as well, so it's going to force us up the way. Yeah, just a casual layer to hear the fuel. Why not? Why not? Good job, I noticed that. Thames Element 27 Alpha, we're leaving controlled airspace at Northwood for the Canal Bend VRP. Element 27 Alpha, Roger, it's traffic service. Traffic service, 27 Alpha. Element 27 Alpha, traffic, continue 1 to 2 o'clock, 3 to 4 miles, indicating altitude uh, 900 feet, type on there. 27 Alpha, that's all received. Should have landed at a gas station and refueled, says G.I. Joe. Alright, going left looks bad. So we're probably going to go through this area somewhere. We're trying to get to Hemel Hempstead, which is up here. So it's basically straight in front of us, but the weather doesn't look great in front, guys. Alright, I'm going to have to disengage the autopilot here and start threading some needles, I think. So we're going to come down below 500R. So the people on the ground won't be too happy about it. But unfortunately, lives are at stake here, guys. We're responding to a goddamn emergency. I 
I'll make the decisions, thank you, Joris. I think you'll find I'm the captain, son. So I see a bit of a railway line. Railway lines always tend to follow the, like the lowest route. So I'm going to try and track up the railway line. Or what we might do is head for the um, the M25, the M1, sorry, follow the M1 up. But it looks like the terrain gets a little bit lower over there, so we'll head over there and try and get down in that depression. We're going to Hemel Hempstead, Sasha. I do have the weather add-on, Joris, yeah. We have the Act of Sky real-world weather online at the moment. So this is what the weather looks like in real life down in London. Alright, looks like we are going to make it. We should be able to get through here, no problem. Goose died, Rainmaker. Too soon, bro. Too soon. Were well, you not fucking paying attention when you watched the film, dude, no? George, my main man George, thank you so much dude. George just upgraded to the Senior Captain's Club on YouTube. Thank you very much my man. Let's get a quick fucking... Thank you so much for your support George. The weather is rather dreary. It is indeed, Mick. It's like Scotland. Say again for two seven alpha. Element two seven alpha. Uh, for Hemel, are you going to need to enter the Luton control zone? Uh, quite possibly, sir. Yeah, we are approximately five miles south of the uh, incident from where our current position. Okay, conspicuity and will remain outside of controlled airspace for 27 Alpha. Cheers. Apologies, I haven't realised quite how far north you're going to have to head. That's not a problem, sir. Alright. They want to move over Essex. 120-625. Six. Good afternoon, Helimed 27 Alpha. We're just responding to an Alpha call at Hemel Hempstead and we're landing at our current position. Helimed 27 Alpha, uh, 6 right, I'm Okay, the incident should be behind us somewhere. How long have we got to find it? 16 minutes, should be fine. Chairman 152, contact the tower, course on only 123, decimal 8, bye bye. Okay, should be on the right hand side somewhere. Gear down, please. Gears down, free greens. I don't see any flashing lights. I think I see it. 
Yeah, that is there. Okay, trim reset. The gear is down. The wind is 260 at 7. We'll take a quick flight over it just to have a look for uh, high tension cables and trees and shit. Rotor RPM beeped up to 102%. Checked. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any cables there. I'm not seeing any traffic coming on the road either, so we might get to land on the road here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to land on the road in front of this police car. No poles and no obstacles or anything anywhere near it, so we're going to go back around. Dude, I seen a light reflecting in that uh, that bit of glass, dude. I thought it was a missile getting shot at me. I just had PTSD. <laughs> Alright, the gear is down. The road RPM is 102%. Let's bring it on down. Start slowing down, fam. Careful, careful, careful. The wind is 260. Okay, the nose is any wind. This is actually lined this up quite nicely. The gear is down three greens. Road RPM is checked. Happy with the uh, engine. Happy with the vertical speed. Forward momentum's good. Watch out for the tree on the left. There's a tree there. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so we have the police car on the right and the tree on the left. Keep the forward trend coming. Good visual on the car. Let's get a visual on this tree. I see it. Keep the forward trend coming. Stabilize. the brakes on because we're rolling down a hill. Alright, we made it. Okay, the patient is on board. The doctor reported that he is sedated and stable enough to fly. Be as fast as you can, but remember to be smooth. The patient has a lot of internal bleeding. We are ready to go right now. Roger that. Essex Radar, Helmet 27 Alpha. We are ready to lift at our current position, sir. We would like to enter controlled airspace on track for uh, the M1 Junction 8 VRP and routing south to Northwood. Element 27 Alpha, roger, lift approved. QNH and uh, Luton is 1024 and you're clear to enter controlled airspace on track the uh, M1 Junction VRP. Clear to enter controlled airspace 1025 uh, via the M1 Junction 8 VRP. Helium 27 Alpha, we're lifting now. Alright, nose up. Right, for stabilise. And remember that that tree is on the left hand side. Back we go. Back into the right. Get up.
Okay, road RPM back to 100%. Checked. Here is up. Alright, we're heading for the M1 Junction 8 VRP. Trim his life. Power, power, power. Alright, I'm going to get the all pilot in here so I can just have a quick look at our flight route. Oh, my arm's getting really sore. Seven four zero three coming up two seven alpha. And Essex, just a slight change to our uh, flight plan. We're now rooting for the golf course VRP. That's what it's called. Okay, this uh, VRP is legitimately called the Golf Course VRP, guys. So we're going from the Golf Course VRP to the um, M11 Junction 4 VRP, and then into the Queen's Hospital. It's starting to get dark now, so this will be the last flight. Hey Superboy, this is the Bell, this is the uh, Bell 222 by Cowan Sim. If you go to cowansim.com you can check it out. Not if you stop for fuel. <laughs> Should be fine. We're going to the Queen's Hospital in London. Yes, yeah, a great helicopter Superboy. Check it out, cowansim.com. Check it out. Hey, thanks Syncrate. Syncrate says, that's some incredible control there. Thank you very much, sir. I think you'll find I'm a goddamn professional. Would I recommend the Augusta 169? I've actually never tried that controller, Stu, on Twitch. I've flown the Augusta 139. Which I would recommend. It's a little bit buggy, but I, I would still recommend it. I've never actually flown the Augusta 169. Can we do night flying, Asasha? No, we cannot, sir. Not in, not in a helicopter over London. Hey, Mr. Gus. Welcome along. I'm a truck driver, hello. Can you simulate an engine failure during the flight? Yes, we can, but no, we will not. Got a fucking patient on board, bro. What do you think this is a game? Hey, good afternoon, Charlie. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, hit that thumbs up button on YouTube. If you're uh, new to the channel, you could do me a massive favour. Head on to YouTube, hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything. If you're feeling mega generous, I do have uh, subs, just like on Twitch, I have subs available on uh, YouTube. I don't accept any subs on Twitch anymore, just on YouTube. It is getting dark pretty quickly, guys. The light is fading fast. My sister Meredith has got me. She's got those ain't no games in. Let's get them in. Let's get them in. This ain't no game, guys. This ain't no game. Hey, Raul, 100%. My main man Raul on uh, YouTube says, No doubt Kevin Sim has developed a masterpiece with the 222. 
one of the best X-Plane helicopters and he continually improves it day after day. You're absolutely right, my friend. It's a fantastic aircraft and the developer's a really nice guy as well. He's very passionate about the project and does some great work. All right, we're over the golf course VRP. I have done that Speedbird. Yeah, I've done that before many times. Speedbird's asking me on uh, YouTube if I've ever flown Concorde from Heathrow up to Keflavik. And that was a flight that I used to do a lot many years ago when I first started learning how to fly Concorde. It's actually a very good flight to do while you're learning the aircraft. Alright, we're now routing for the Banbury Reservoir. And from the Banbury Reservoir we'll be routing for the M11 Junction 4 VRP. Hey, Alistair. So we're about halfway, so we've got about 14, well, we've got about 10 miles to go, 12 miles to go. Hey Moses. Or Moshe, I'm not uh, sure how you Zulu, pronounce it. I've never tried it, Gus. Yeah, Gus on YouTube's yeah, asking me, what is my opinion of the Dreamfoil 407? I've never flown it, sir, so I don't have one. I don't have one. Okay, coming up for the Banbury Reservoir. There it is there, I think. Hey, Darren, no, I can't offer. <laughs> Welcome back, young man. Element 27 Alpha, Squawk 7030. 7030 coming up, 27 Alpha. I'm not, Mike. No, I'm using Orbex. Element 27 Alpha, thanks. You can contact Thames Radar now, 132 decimal 7. They have your details. 1327, thanks for your help, 27 Alpha. So long. Thames, hello again, sir. Element 27 Alpha, we're just rooting for the uh, Queen's Hospital over the M11 junction. 1000 feet, uh, 1025. Uh, Helen 27 Alpha A firm, sir. We'll be landing at the uh, Queen's Hospital at Romford. Helen 27 Alpha, you clear to enter the zone, VFR, not for altitude, 2000 feet on track, Queen's. 
Clear to end the zone VFR, not above 2000 VFR on track Queens for 27 Alpha. Yeah, I use Orbex scenery. Oscar Romeo Bravo X ray, Orbex. In fact, I've got the whole of the UK. The whole of the UK is covered by it. Alright, we're going to start slowing down a little bit. Now, I'm not as familiar with this hospital as I am with the uh, Royal London, so I'm not actually 100% sure where it is. I do know that we're not landing on the roof, though, where we'll actually be landing on the ground. And what we'll do is we'll unload this patient. Uh, we'll not take the helicopter back to RAF Norfolk. Instead, we'll take the helicopter back to the London City Heliport. And we'll put her to bed from there. I've never flown the Bell 429, Tom, no. The main helicopters that I fly are the Augusta 139, the Bell 222, and the SA-342 Gazelle. It is a Logitech stick UV. If you, if you read the stream description, buddy, I'll tell you my full setup. I don't fly freeware aircraft, Tom. I only fly payware aircraft. In my experience, freeware aircraft don't have very good flight models. They, they look great, they sound great, but the, the flight models are a bit pish. Okay, we're getting close, I'm slowing down, gear down. Oh, I can see flashing lights. That looks like the hospital, guys. Now all I need to do is find the uh, fucking helipad. Teams 27 Alpha, we have the Queen's Hospital on site. Element 2 Alpha, Roger, report setting down. Service window CP2406. 27 Alpha, welcome. Put the landing light on. Alright, trim reset. It doesn't look like the helipad's on this side, which is actually quite good because we need to be facing behind us for landing in the wind. So we'll go around here, we'll start slowing down, we'll beep the engine up to the rotor RPM up to 102%, checked. Gears down three greens. Any of you boys seen a helipad around here? Alright, left pedal, we'll get the nose moving. I think it's around the back side. The wind is 240. Is that it? That is it. I see it. I see the pad. We are way too fast for this, so let's start bleeding that speed off straight away. The nose is any wind now, so I need to just start crabbing. Careful with the VRS envelope here, Maverick. Keep the forward trend coming. Rotor RPM is set to 102%. The gear is down three greens. The engine power is good. We're right on the edge of the envelope here for VRS, but that is okay. Alright, square it up. forward. Stabilize. Touch it down.
Right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I drink too much coffee and I need to pee. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get back to the London heliport. Idle stop selected. Thames Helimed 27 Echo. Helimed 27 Echo, Thames. 27 Echo, we are ready to lift from the Queen's Hospital on track for the London City Heliport. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track the Beckton Roundabout VRP and the Thames Barrier for westbound on Hotel 4. Hello, 27 Echo, Roger, you cleared to enter the city zone, uh, routing on track Beckton Roundabout, Thames Barrier to join Hotel 4 westbound, standard operating altitude to uh, London Heliport, Squawk remains 7030 VFR. Controlled airspace via Beckton, Thames Barrier, westbound on Hotel 4 for the uh, Heliport. Standard operating altitudes not above 1500 VFR uh, with the Squawk 7030. We're lifting now, Heliment 270. Heliment 270, correct. Okay. Oscar Hotel Charlie, route direct Osbeth. Roll RPM up, please. Direct Osbeth, Oscar Hotel Charlie. Okay, 102% selected. There's no obstacles behind us. It's going to be a category alpha departure. Uh, the nose is into wind, so we'll crab it a little bit to the left and then come straight back and to the right. Power's good, RPM's good. We're clear on the left, we're clear on the right. The trim has been reset. Nose left. Come back. Been a bit more aggressive because we don't have any patients on board. Gear up. Okay, we're through ETL. Rotor RPM back to 100%. And we're coming right for the Beckton roundabout. Trim is life. That's a great little emote you got there, Sync Rate. I like that. Sync Rate. Sync Rate. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. Don't sink. Traffic. 
traffic. Massive fucking traffic. Element 27 Echo entering the zone radar control. Element 27 Echo radar control. Alright, let's get above, above 500R. Let's leave that landing light on. Fuck him. Fuck him! Right, autopilot snatch. Engage. Oh, I'm starving. I'm just going to quickly go and run and turn the... Ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it, I'll do it. I'm going to quickly turn the oven on, guys. I'm going to get the oven ready for my breakfast at fucking 5 o'clock. I did want to fly Arma today, but I'll maybe leave that till another day. Alright, back to roundabout for the Thames Barrier now. Eh, no, Sean, I don't, bro, no, thanks. Okay, there's London City Airport down there. I think there's actually an aircraft down there somewhere. There he is, there, company! Hashtag YOLO. Uh, Gigam on uh, Twitch says, in your opinion, what's the best helicopter for X-Plane? I'd probably say this one, dude. This this or the SA-342 Gazelle. It's a very close call. It's a very close call between this one and the Gazelle. This is the Cowan Sim Bell 222. And the SA-342 Gazelle is done by a company called JRX Design. Juliet Romeo X-Ray Design. Let's get down low and have a little bit of fun once we get over this... Uh, Sure, make sure. I've never tried the 412. I don't fly uh, freeware aircraft. I only fly payware aircraft. Just because the, the flight models tend to be much better. Oh, that's Peewee as well, Roger. I'll need to check that out then. Oh, in fact, yeah, I'm, I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that. I've, I don't actually have that, sir. I've never tried it. But it looks good. I've seen it on YouTube and stuff like that. It does look good. Super. Just go to Google and type in Cowan Sim. Cowan. Charlie Oscar Whiskey Sierra. No. Charlie Oscar Whiskey Alpha November Sierra India Mike. Cowan Sim. C O W A N Sim. Cowan Sim. Uh, 
Uh, sure, post a link, buddy. On you go. I'm, I'm not sure if it'll work, actually, on... I don't know if it'll work, bro. I just fly the aircraft, dude. I don't do anything to do with the fucking moderation. Traffic. Traffic. Oh. Yeah, that's not a helicopter, though, bro, is it? Helicopter flight models are much more complex. Two seven Echo Roger. Helicopter flight models are much more complicated than fixed swing flight models. We're going to the London heliport, Kelvin. Oh, they're opening the bridge for us. Nice. You know what that means. Hopefully they don't close it before we get through. Hashtag YOLO. Ring the horn. We're coming through, motherfucker. Keep it open. It's getting pretty dark. Okay, the wind is 240 at 6 knots here, so we should be landing from this side. It is Orbex, yeah. That company we flew past, we zoomed in and we seen him. Oh, I start slowing down now. Six departure, squawk one three four. Or sorry, one four three four. Skipper zero zero two, correct. Information kilo, city Q and H one zero two five. Come on, bro, hurry up and read back. Hurry up and read back, you fucker. Fuck him. Thames elevator two seven echo. We have the heliport in sight. Settle at your discussion, the surface wind city 240 at 6. 27 echo. Okay, the gear is down, watch out for that crane. Rotor RPM below 90 knots up to 102 RPM. Good visual on the pad. Coming in way too fast. Keep this trend and then we're going to squeeze up once we get closer. Touching there. 
T -t Touching down. So this is a London City heliport, guys. You can get this scenery for as little as one pound or one dollar, one euro, whatever it is you live in the world. You can get it from charityscenery.co.uk. I actually don't know Supra. Oh, brakes. Uh, right. Oh, these primers should have been off. Yeah, that can go. That can go. Primer for two, sorry, it's off. Oh, fuel valve can come off for two. Fuel valve off for one. Now I'll take the hydraulics. If I leave this on the out, the uh, generators can come off. Inverters off. Hydraulics one and two. And the collision position lights. Nice one, dudes. Ooh. So, like I said, guys, check it out. Bell 222 by Cowan Sim. Fantastic little aircraft. Absolutely love it. Yeah, we can maybe see the replay. Yeah, fuck it. Shut the engines down. Alright, guys, I'm going to take a quick break and um, go and get some food. And then I should be back, and probably within one to two hours I should be back, and I'll be setting up a Concorde stream. We're going to fly to Innsbruck in Austria, guys. We're going to hopefully do the circle to land approach. Now, with that being said, just a quick disclaimer. I'm going to check the, the weather. If the, the weather means that we're not going to get a chance to land on, do the circle to land approach, I might end up going somewhere else. I might go to Gibraltar or something like that instead. But um, we're going to be doing a short haul Concorde flight in the next stream. So hopefully I will see you guys for that. Thank you so much to um, my main man who upgraded his, uh, upgraded the subscription. Who was it again? It was... Um, George, thanks for upgrading to the Senior Captain's Club, my friend, so uh, your your support is huge, I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys for the next stream, what's up, Emma, good to see you, young lady, just missed me, I'm just heading out, but I'll catch you for the next one, it's going to be a Concord stream next, so hopefully I'll catch you for that one, alright, so I'll see you after I've had something to eat, guys, and I've got the next stream up and running, Top Gun and Volleyball, I'm not Scott Manley, fly safe.